so the daily grind what do I feel about the daily grind um, this is my intake on it it's how I personally feel about the grind the daily grind personally like I, I was at work and I looked at the wall and you have you have photos that are basically showing you oh you know this is what people did for the quarter and like they went above and beyond and they were, they're respected or you know you know good job for them they're the star of the team and I and I looked at that I'm like I looked at it and I said to myself is that everything that I am I'm like are you for real like they have taken everything from us you know I was born into this I never asked to work every single day of my life and make and work two jobs to make minimum wage or even to work period I never asked for that like I never asked for that fate I never asked to be in the situation that I am over in right now like even so like I never asked to be is it like is that important to me like think about it like look how hard you have to work and then you have to worry about the stress that comes with it um you know dealing with dealing with people um at work um dealing with uh you know bosses um bosses that like some bosses are like they take advantage like I well the bosses that I have now I don't have that issues but like in the past like I've de- dealt with that or like for example dealing with um you know going to get a job you know you have to present a certain way you have to be a certain way and they pressure you and then they make you feel hello hello I I just got back from work yeah I'm good yes I'll be there in a moment I'm just doing something um and so they uh they yeah they they pressure you and uh you know they make you they make you feel like your job is like a a, a relationship like it's like a it's like a to me it's like a broken marriage you know a marriage that you can't keep or you can't hold on because depending on what type of job it is if it's not a, a pub a public centric job and it doesn't have benefits and even if it has benefit it's still not it's still not cut, cut up to what it's supposed to be because if you're not careful you can you, you can work until you're like 80 or not 80 or 70 something years old you know and you die like an old man and you know, when i when, so when i saw those pictures on the wall and I, and i looked at it i'm like and like that's like a mockery to me that's a joke you know just think about every single day you have to get up in the morning like the the lack of sleep, even teenagers and adolescents like me, we have to work two or three jobs, you know, to make to make ends meet, to buy a car, to pay off school loans, like all that stress, like the stress that we go through. You know, a lot of teenagers, um, adolescents have committed suicide going to college. You know, college is not an easy thing. You know, um, studying long nights, um, stressing. And overwhelmed, and then to come to find out that all your work it gets you a degree, but you you rarely use all those things you went to school for. It was useless, and most of the, and most of the things you're not going to use. And there's only a few things that that you that that you take with you that are important, you know. So what, back to work, you know, understanding like working and like I I, I you know people see it as you know I'm. Yes, I'm respected. I, I made it. I got some really. Like, I'm a boss. Like, I'm a manager. You know, this crisis that's going on, like, it should it should make people realize that none of that shit matters. Like, none of that being a boss, being on top, or, like, making a lot of money. You're not free. If you cannot stop working and you know that you will be okay, you're not free at all. If you can't stop working and you know and know that you have land, you have resources that you can be set for the rest of your life where you can get up on your own terms, when you can go whatever you want to go, do whatever you want to do, be whoever you want to be, walk outside if you feel like it, go to the park when you feel like it, be where you feel like it. You don't have to deal with people. You don't have to uh, go to the store and someone telling you wear a mask or all that kind of nonsense and bullshit. You know, you're not, you're not 
technically you're not free. And so when I saw those pictures and on the wall, I, I looked at it as a mockery because I, I, like, I feel like I'm so much more than that. You know, I'm not saying that I'm better than them and I'm better than that in the sense I'm, no, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying deep down inside, I know that there's more to life. There's more to me than being respected at work. There's more to me than following the norms. There's more to me than, uh, uh, thinking that doing what everyone else is doing, hello, is is the right thing to do, and it, and it's respectable and it's knowledgeable, and it's not. It's just not for me, and it was never for me, and that's and that's why I'm making this video. So it's gonna be called the daily grind. Yep.